do you get back pain with deep breathing? Okay, so let's take a look at this and see what might be causing back pain when you take a deep breath. Uh, I want to look at it from two points of view. One, uh, you're using your back muscles to take that deep breath. Uh, so I will often see people who have trained their paraspinals, trained their QLs to help them inhale. So instead of their diaphragm contracting down to help pull air into the lungs, um, as much as it should, they will end up getting their back muscles involved. So you often see them if you um, have somebody lie on their back and give you a big inhale, you'll see them kind of hinge off the floor. And if you take your hand, place it on their paraspinal, you will feel that paraspinal muscle contract. So you can do it now with me if you're sitting or standing. Big giant inhale, do you feel that paraspinal muscle contract when you inhale? So a lot of times you'll see that with a hinging up of the rib cage because you're getting a tightening or a contracting in the back. Now, if you think about it from the other standpoint of, okay, maybe we're not using paraspinals to inhale, what else might be going on? Well, if you imagine the diaphragm, the big dome-shaped muscle, and it covers the whole span inside, including the back. There are several muscles that attach up into the diaphragm, including our psoas muscle. Our psoas muscle is a deep hip flexor muscle that runs here, down, and around our leg. And so uh, oftentimes the psoas can cause back pain. And so if somebody is uh, maybe putting a little bit of tension on that muscle with breathing, they might be feeling that uh, with what's happening with their deep breath. Uh, they can also feel that quadratus laborum muscle as well because uh, it inserts up into there. Uh, and so a lot of times uh, it could be maybe tension being placed on the muscle, although I do find those nice deep breaths end up releasing that psoas, releasing that QL. So it could be often too more of a hinging that's pulling tension on the psoas and pulling tension on the QL. So what I would do for somebody like that is I would try putting them in different positions. I would try side lying on the floor and have them kind of curl in and then do their deep breath, focusing on expanding that deep breath more into their back. Uh, see if that helps get rid of the pain. Try it in sitting. Uh, try it in a recliner at home like where they're super comfy and completely relaxed. So try different positions and see if you can get rid of the back pain because if it's in standing that it's happening, Remember uh, how I talked about that psoas muscle attaching in here? Well, when you're in standing, your psoas is really a, on a lengthened position. And so see if it doesn't go away if you get them down in the sand and you get them down into sideline or hands and knees maybe kind of rounding up. Uh, see if that doesn't put some tension or some slack on that muscular system uh, and see if that doesn't change the back pain with deep breathing. Uh, so if you can get it to change, that's gonna give you clues as to what might be going wrong causing the pain.